Hello guys, welcome back to Shadow Entertainment. On today's video, we recommend 10 amazing Korean dramas starring Jung Hae In. Jung Hae In is one of the most popular Korean actors worldwide, mostly known for his roles in romantic melodramas and his pairing with older female leads. Born in 1988, he is currently 34 years old. Jung officially made his debut in 2014 through the TV series Bride of the Century, but gained recognition for his supporting roles in 2017's television series. While you were sleeping and praising Playbook. So, here are the top 10 Korean dramas starring Jung Hae In. Now, starting off the list, coming at number 1, Something in the Rain. Something in the Rain is one of my favorite and most rewatched drama of all time. It revolves around the relationship between a couple who fall in love and miss a struggle brought about by age differences, as the female is way older than the male lead, which is considered a social taboo in some communities. Yoon Jina is a woman in her mid 30s. Who have never been in a successful relationship. She has been dumped a lot of times, and even the man she thought would marry her dumps her for the worst reason ever. Just then, Johnny appears before her with a broad smile on his face. He is as refreshing as a soft drink. Johnny, played by Jung Hae In, is her younger brother's best friend, who used to live next door. Gina has always remembered him as a little kid, but one day he comes back as a really masculine man. And the episodes give an intimate look into how they fall in love struggle with their age differences and find the courage to go public with their relationship to everyone around them. And coming at number 2, One Spring Night. Following the success of Something in the Rain comes another masterpiece from the same award-winning director in 2019. One Spring Night tells a tale of two people who fell in love despite the whole world telling them not to. Their beautiful mysterious relationship that not only had to bear the weight of internal struggles but also had to face the societal pressures that came along with being Korean. It tells the story of Lee Jo In, a librarian who had just ended a four year relationship with a banker. She missed a pharmacist and single dad, Yoon Ji Ho, played by Jung Hae In, and what begins as an innocent daily interaction develops into a deeper attachment as the two find themselves drawn to each other. Being frowned upon as a single parent, Jo has to face this social stigma from almost everyone, his parents and friends included, with the exception of one person, Lee Jo In. And coming at number 3, Snowdrop. Being his most recent drama, Snowdrop was one of the most anticipated dramas of 2021, mostly due to the female list popularity as she's a member of the famous girl group, Blackpink. The drama tells a tragic love story between a North Korean spy and a South Korean woman. It was set in 1987 when South Korea was governed by a dictatorial government. It mainly starred Black Mix Jisoo and Jo Hae In. In 1987, Im Soo and Yoon Cho are students at a prestigious university in Seoul. Im Soo, who supposedly grew up in Germany, has a gentle charm but gives off an air of secrecy. Yoon Cho, on the other hand, who is lively, lovable, and cheerful, fell in love with him at first sight at a social garden. One day, Soo suddenly rushes into the female dormitory covered in blood, and Yoon Cho, not knowing that he is a North Korean spy, hides him and tends to his wound despite facing danger under close surveillance. I'm coming at number 4, Tune In For Love. Tune In For Love was a box office hit and Joy In even won the popularity award for his role in the movie. The romance movie was set in the 80s and mainly starred Jung Hae In and Kim go -un. Kim go -un plays the role of a bakery part-timer, Miss Woo, who Miss Hyung Woo, played by Jung Hae In, when he dropped by a bakery after he was released from prison. Hyung Woo later on applies for a job in the same bakery and the two began working together. At first, Misu is scared of Young Woo, but they get close and develop feelings for each other. Young Woo carries a heavy guilt from a fatal incident that occurred in his past, and although the young couple's paths keep crossing, timing never appears to be in their favor. I'm coming at number 5, A Piece of Your Mind. Despite having only 12 episodes, the romance drama tackles one issue that a lot of viewers can relate to, unrequited love. Jung Hae In plays the role of an AI programmer who has had a crush on his travel friend Jisoo for 10 years and cannot forget her even after she got married. Meanwhile, Che Soo Bin plays the role of a sound engineer who had lived a very hard life with no family to support her. She finds out about her own story by chance and slowly falls in love with him. Despite of the knowledge of his love for another woman for over 10 years, she's willing to love him from the sidelines as even his love story makes her fall in love with him more. The drama was slow paced yet tells a beautiful heartwarming love story. And coming at number 6, DP. Set in 2014, DP tells the story of a team of Korean military police with their mission to catch deserters 
The series showcased the sad realities inside the military camp, which include bullying, hazing, and the mindset for the survival of the fittest. The series magnifies the undesirable nature of the military, especially within a South Korean context. Jung Hae-in plays the role of a soldier. He is quiet and calm, but inflexible. A sergeant notices his tenacity and ability to observe and then transfer him into the DP team. Their mission is to catch the Zatos. Private An jong hoon and Corporal Han yo hoon both team up to find the Zatos and end up in an adventurous journey. I'm coming at number 7, While You Were Sleeping. While You Were Sleeping is one of the most popular Korean romantic comedies and one of Jung Hae In's most memorable support roles. Mainly starring Lee Jong Suk and Bae Su Zin. It mainly revolves around a young lady who has had the ability to see bad future events through her dreams since she was a kid, although she is often unable to do anything about it. But she ends up meeting Jae Chan, a guy she had dreams about. Jae Chan decides to interfere in the course of events and end up saving the lives of Han Ju and Han Woo Tak, a young police officer. Jung Hae In plays the role of a smart 29 year old police officer named Han Woo Tak, who forms part of a love triangle with the main leads who both have the ability to see the future through their dreams. He suffers from color blindness, a condition that can jeopardize his career as a policeman. I'm coming at number 8, Age of Blood. Age of Blood is a historical action movie that was set during the Joseon dynasty when there is growing unrest and declining confidence in the king to rule the country. It led to the rise of a group of rebels who want to overthrow King Yeonju, but they have to break their leader, Lee in out of the jail first. Kim Ho, played by Jung Hae In, was a former royal guardsman for the king, who was demoted to work as a prison guard due to a conspiracy, but he is still considered the best swordsman in all of Joseon. Due to a rebellion, he has to pick up the sword again to protect the king and the innocent people caught in the middle of the conspiracy. I'm coming at number 9, Prison Playbook. Awarded as the best drama in 2018, Prison Playbook gives a peek into the lives of convicts behind bars, their loved ones and the workers at the detention center. The drama mainly revolved around famous baseball player Kim jae hyuk who is convicted after using excessive force while chasing a man trying to sexually assault his sister. Shockingly to him and the rest of the nation, he is sentenced to a year in prison. John a in plays a supporting role for a few episodes as Captain Yu, a commanding officer who allegedly attacked his teammate, which led to the latter's death. The role won him the most popular actor award in the same year. The drama revolves around Jae Yuk's time in prison, as well as the prisoners he meets and events that take place there. And the last on the list, Startup. Two boys in the stormy period are becoming real adults and experience a world that doesn't go their way. Jae Yuk made a 180 degree transformation in Startup. Jae Yuk plays the role of Sang Pil, a young man who wants to start making money right away, although he isn't good at anything. He experiences his first taste of society when he joins Global Financials as the youngest employee. Joining in is like nothing seen before in this film. There is no caring smile or looks from him in startup. On the other hand, the young man turns more and more wild as he goes through the tough society. Thank you guys for watching. Do make sure to hit the subscribe button to follow for more movies and drama recommendations. And please let me know your favorite in the comment section below.